Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to today's stream. Satisfactory. Uh, sorry that I didn't stream yesterday, but I, I had so much to do that I wanted to get done. As you guys can see here with all the conveyors here, miles and miles. And we're going to spend a little bit of time here tying it all together. Together on the stream? That's together twice in a row. Three times. Um, to get this kicked in, right? Just so it, everything is running and I planned a lot of things. I had. That's why there is six, seven conveyor belts over here. The two bottom ones you guys can see with coal are already here. I ran it all the way over to the coal. We might stop there. Um, do I need to do something over there? No. But I might still show you what I changed. Um, and then we're going to have... Uh, wait a second. Yeah, five for iron. <laughs> There's five more 240 belts, MK3s. Um, that's for the two nodes right there off the cliff and then the three next to our base. We're not going to hook them in today, but I just wanted to have them ready. And then also all the way in the back... You guys can see right there, I'll show you where that runs, is the copper that's behind the factory. Because I found out, um, I didn't notice that on the last stream, that, um, let's see here, I think we're going to start down here first. Uh, I also finished the ramp, that took forever. <laughs> but, that, I think the music is a little loud, let me turn this down just to tit that off. Uh, it's the slider is so small. There we go. It's the last tick. I, if I go any lower, it's off. So hopefully it's 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 good now. Um, when I s last time checked, I only checked the iron. The iron uh, MK2s all extract 240 ores per minute, while the copper only does 120. I I did not realize that. So we have one copy here, and that's why I need to get the other copper in to actually fill the belt, right? But I'm going to leave them on MK3s here. I'm, I'm running everything from external with MK3s. Today, there was also a huge patch. Um, we now have another tier. It's the train and nuclear tier, which the trains look amazing. Oh, my God. I cannot wait to get started with them. So I think anything further than what we're doing here is from then on going to be trains. So, like, uh, I forgot the oil was somewhere done. I think, whoa, this right here is oil. Um, we might tie that into this one because it's right next to it. But anything further, we're going to bring in with trains. I want to play with trains. I love trains. Um, and I'm not driving the truck down here because of the bumpiness. I almost drove off twice. And coming up, we're going to use the conveyor belt. It's actually going to work really well. So everything over here is ready. And I didn't tie the power in on the top. Dang it. Ah, well, we'll do this when we get back up there. And I need to make one switch. And that is this right here. Yes. I need to switch these around because I need the copper to come in the middle. And then the iron all the way on the top. This top one we're not going to use yet. Uh, actually, we can tie that in because I, I added the second floor on top of the factory. There's so many things I got to show you. But you guys see, I mostly just did conveyors. Miles and miles of conveyors. And I AFK'd a lot um, to get all the steel that I needed. Uh, because all of these need steel. What are these called? Steel beams, yes. Okay, so... Oh, no, I do have power down here. I just haven't kicked these. No, no, I I still have to hook... What? Wrong one. All right. Okay, they're still red. But we'll see it arriving on the top later. So now they're both in. Let me just double check that this one is tied in as well. The copper one. I don't need to set this. I really would like to avoid having to run down here one more time today. That would be really cool if I didn't. Alright, so. This one's tied in. These two are tied and everything else is connected. So, they're gonna kick in and then everything is gonna come up there. But we are going to take the fast route to get back up there. So I don't need to run. I really hope that they're going to add another tier mm. and maybe add some teleporters. First, are you kidding me right now? There we go. I don't need to do anything. And it's quite fast, much faster than running. Right here, it slows down for a second, but I think it's because it's rendering the stuff over there. Um, and the rest is quite speedy to get back up here. 
Yeah, you guys don't want to know how many times I walked the thing up and down, getting more steel and so on. And you guys see, I added another second layer for um, iron because I have a feeling that we're gonna need a lot of this. So now we come over here and then let me show you back here. Uh, down here, nothing changed besides that I took off the ninth one. We always had nine smelters per iron and copper, but I'm only gonna get 240 because that's all the um, miners can extract. So there is no reason to have nine of them. So eight here, eight there, and then I added another eight on top with the exact same setup that we have down here besides the top conveyor running across to get to the copper, right? Because if we need more copper, then we're certainly gonna mirror this over here and bring in another copper line. And I brought it all the way to here. So now let me think of this again for a second. Yeah, copper needs to be on the top on this one because that goes through the top window right here and then runs all the way over to the copper and then this bottom one is going to be the iron that we're going to use and then if i go up top actually let's figure this out real quick we can do that let's just tie it in why not there's no re there's no way i need all of this right now but it still doesn't hurt having it right there and then another one on top there uh, we probably can I go one higher let's see does this still connect no it's too steep uh, I guess I can just come one higher right there and then I can do it All right, and then we'll get this in there. As you can see, I had a lot of practice running conveyors. Uh, how did I get up here again? Over here. There. Okay, so now all of these are hooked up and we'll tie in the copper over here first This copper runs all the way from behind our factory and we need to hook this in To fill this two uh, this belt with 240 because each one of them is only gonna bring in 120. I know they're the mk3s but oh I'm happy that I did it because today I found out that with that nuclear update we're gonna get Miners MK3 as well as these conveyor belts MK5 which transport 780 I think something like that Which is crazy. That's awesome. Okay, so we need a merger that we're gonna put right about there And then we can run this into the merger all right, so now both of these copper lines are coming in here into one and then split up again. I know, but it's fine. I, I like lots of splitters and con uh, mergers. And then the other thing is, yes, we need to get another one up here. And then see if we can tie this one into this middle window. Yes, cool. And then I can hook it up on the inside. All right, perfect. Now, let's kick in the, the power. So that can start and go. And I need to come to over here. And here, I just did a little bit of playing around with of kind of like what I want to have to look. I didn't want to just have one color. So I just put in this white stripe here and I'm going to continue like that. I don't want to close it off all the way until we're done. Um, I'll show you what this is in a second. It's pretty cool. Um guess we can come out the back over here let's put another one here I've been very very generous with power poles by the way because I, I don't want to run into problems with that all right let's put another one here should not get in the way okay let's go ahead and hook and then I want to go upstairs I'm gonna hook this one up last these two because I want to see how long the ore takes to come up here when this goes I want to keep my eye on it oh I never hooked this one up okay all right 
So, I, I first I made a stairway going up there, and it, it just drove me nuts. And I'm like, you know what, let's play around with these things here. So I made this uh, jump pad, and then I also made this U jelly landing pad. Because if I jump down from up there, I just take half a heart of damage. Alright, so, what you can do here is just jump and let go. And this doesn't cost me any damage right here. So I didn't put a jump pad here. And it's quick, right? So as you guys can see, I have the same setup up there. We just got to hook it up on the back here now. Right there. All right. All done. So now both of them should make us um, an, an insane amount. And I set all these up, right? Yes, these are all set up to iron. Okay, so let's go downstairs and hook up the power and then watch it and see how long it takes to come up here. I gotta jump down here. This is a little bit awkward here, by the way, because it's like a jelly and you sink first. But it's still so much faster than using ladders or stairs. Now, let me see. I'm trying to figure out how I can see the... I guess we'll climb up over there, yes. I just want to see it coming up, how fast that is. Alright, so everything down there should start. And we'll go ahead and take a look at it from over here. It's going to take a second for them to kick in. Until they actually start digging. And I should be able to inch my way up here. I don't want to jump on the conveyor. There we go. Now we can watch it. Oh wow, why does it look so curved here? These are all straight. Eh, nothing I can do. Okay, I see I see it green, by the way, all the way back there. So that means it does have power. And I just hope I didn't mess anything up so I don't need to walk down there again. Come on. Please? It is a long way. This top one, because it's in my peripheral, looked like it was moving faster than this one. I mean, seriously? I should see something by now. Yes, I changed the stream schedule. I was gonna mention that you're correct uh, just now. Um, I decided to not do that two a day, uh, every two day thing. So I simply made a schedule for now. I did say after two weeks, I want to test something else. And I made three days, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 p.m. Because that gives the West Coast viewers a little bit extra time. Um, and Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm doing 4 p.m. So the European viewers can join us as well. So I only see one iron. Okay, I see the second iron coming and there's the copper. Okay, so it just took, a, uh, actually this is the copper. The bottom one here is iron and the top is iron. So that all works. Cool. All right, now let's get inside because I want to see how everything gets split up. And I also like, by the way, that because we don't have anything outgoing yet, that everything is going to fill to the rim. So when we actually set up the ingot line, then that is going to show us, um, well, it should then just be full. I don't, I don't know how else to say that. Okay, so this should come in here. Okay, I see the copper. And I did not connect it. Why did I not connect the copper here? Right, did I make the same mistake over here? No. And there's iron. Okay. So. There we go. I see the copper. And I see all the way to the last one. And over here. And this last one is just the slowest. Because, well, there's no reason to have this faster. When the belts are saturated, then then everything is going to run at good speed here. And we have the ingots coming up there. Yes. 
and I stopped with them up there. Let's check upstairs if everything is fine. Yes, I see the ingots. Let's check every one of these conveyors. Oh, okay. I forgot those. Whoa, whoa. I'm getting all turned around here. What's happening? Over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I forgot them on the other side as well, didn't I? Yes. Alright, good. Output, 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 output. Alright, so they all work. Well, as long as I see output, I know they work. And let's check over here. All four. And all four. All right. And there's some up here, right? And the iron. Ready to fling off. Okay. Nice. So we got this done. And then I just have to figure out how I'm going to tie all this together to go back to the base. Right? But now, let me show you all the other things that I did. Um, this copper, by the way, is not coming in yet. We still have to set that up at the base. And yes, I do fit underneath this here, which is epic, by the way. I love this thing. All right, let me just show you over here. These both are 240. Um, and then here I just split out the, the coal that goes into the actual power plant, right? And I think the next we're going to do... Let's go down to the power... Uh, to the coal plant first. And then we come back to the base here and tie in all the other iron. So everything is just running. And you guys can see the miles of conveyor belts that I had to run. This one here took me the longest because it was so far away. And when I was halfway done with it is when I actually went AFK for... I don't know, probably like five hours, played other games and so on. And then the entire storage chest on the bottom was full with steel um, beams. And then everything sped up, which was cool. Oh, whoa, 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 easy killer. And I ran it with the um, scaffoldings. I think that's what they're called everywhere. I, I think that's what I'm going to use the majority of the time like 99% of the time because if I need to have another line come from out here for some reason right I can just put one on top and be done with it so nothing big changed over here but still I want you guys to see it first I was thinking of by the way coming through here um, and I started building a bridge um, it works. It would have worked, but there's a lot of gas plants in the way, so I would have taken a lot of damage. Alright, so I just moved this thing a little bit and then split off from this one back into it to have the power over here. And now I need to check here real quick. Are they 120 or 240? They're 240, okay. I was worried there for a second as why, why I ran two if they would have been like copper 120 and I only need one, but I do have two. So... And I also wanted to have two of them because I don't know how much we're going to need for the steel automation. So, and I don't know where the nearest... Let's just check for a second. I want to know. Would there be any other coal nearby here? Or if it's really far away and we need more, then we're definitely going to, you know, work on trains once we have it unlocked. I do would like to unlock the next one today. The next, um, whatchamacallit. So they are 1,000 meters that direction, and this one uh, 1,100. So that's far. So that would definitely be train, and that's... I have no idea. They did say in the patch notes video that the, the tracks, you need to build them all first. So I guess it's not like conveyors where, you know, you just need to have the, the parts on you. From That's how I understand it. You actually need to build the tracks and have them on you and then you can run your lines which means another automation and so on but 
Okay, now we go to the factory and tie in that one copper, just so that is done. And then I think... I want to look real quick if we can set up a... I uh, forgot how much it costs. Let's drive by there real quick. I know I took a screenshot last time, but I didn't save it. How much the, the next stage is. I really want to do that stage... I think it's stage two, right? I really want to get that today because we unlocked that other buggy. I would like to see that one if it's faster. Because the thing is cool and all, but I mean, faster would be better. This is limestone. All right, let's just drive over to the elevator real quick. And I still miss lights. I wish there was lights in this game. I really hope they're gonna add those. And as you guys can see, I tried to run the conveyors as realistic as I can, but like over here, it's clipping through whatever the thing is here. Just some some little shortcuts I did take um, by running them, but it's fine. Uh, 500 and 150 motors. The 500 frames are no problem, but we have to make the 150 rotors. Excuse me, Bush. I'm going to run you over. And then I have no idea how I want to bring the ingots over here yet. But I think that we need to set up the, the processing first and then we'll run the ingots over. So these two are going to go up to this cliff and then tie into that main belt. That's two of the five. And then the three, if you guys remember, behind the factory. Right over there. Those three are going to go up to there. And you guys see right up there in the middle where you see five conveyors going down to two. The top three is where I'm going to tie those three in. But like, I try to prepare as much as I can to to hopefully not have to run a lot of conveyors in the future when we're streaming. <laughs> that was the whole idea behind this. Right, let's turn on the light. Okay, and this is where that copper line starts. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this now. As my chests are completely full with copper, I'm not worried about that anymore. Good. And if I'm not mistaken, I have everything for one MK2 on me, right? Yes. Uh, just like that. Okay. And then... Let's bring... Please don't clip, please don't clip in the stairs. Okay, I can still run up there, that's good. All right, now let me show you guys this conveyor. Where I ran it. Probably gonna jump off halfway. In these sharp turns, you get stuck sometimes. Oh, this is a dangerous one right here. It's a big cliff. And then we run by the power plant. I'm just going to jump in and then it ties into over there. So that's where that second copper line comes from now. All right. So now you guys have seen everything. And I guess hmm, I think I made enough steel now so I can tear this down. And we can actually... No, you know what? Yes, I did say. We're going to look into the motors first. Oh, oh, oh. It's too far to jump. Um, maybe I can do it from here. Yes. All right, no damage. Good. So, I was thinking of turning this guy around to bring it here. And then this guy. And then they're going to go up one of these elevators onto that platform right here. I don't want to run them around here. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do this because if I because hmm. I do want to be able to keep driving through here right so hmm. maybe well we'll see but I, I'm gonna keep this clear I need to be able to drive through here I think that's important all right let's see how much steel we have okay it's almost full again so that's perfect Right, I'm gonna throw all this away because I really don't need it. I don't need any of this on me. Okay, good. You guys see I have two more of those on me. I just so I'm ready for setting up another minor MK2 if I need to. Uh, over here also right there is a limestone. That's another thing. I'm probably not gonna tear this down until we are well set up over here right now where did i put them i think they're in the truck let's get this out A vehicle yes um i don't have so many motors in here and let me leave the paint gun here i don't need that So it was 500 of these, I think. So that's going to be 10 stacks. Plus 150 motors. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to make a... Let's make a... One of these guys here. And put that right there. And let's leave some of the stuff. don't need this many right now I don't need you or this many spools I hope okay just saying a little bit of room here in the inventory and let's find out real quick how much time it will take to make 150 motors a motor takes so I have enough of the rotors on me but I need to make the stator okay so Add to list. Is there... Can I not just... Oh my god, I gotta click this 150 times? No, shift click. Sweet. So I need 300 of these stratters and I have enough for six. Cool. <laughs> um, so now I need to grab the steel again that I have over here. don't think that's gonna be en enough. Alright, let's just grab this. Uh, da -da. It doesn't show me the subcomponents. Interesting. I thought that's what it used to do. All right, that's gonna take a minute here. That's gonna take a really long minute. I gotta make 300 of these. Wow. Hmm. So I could switch my automation over to the steel pipes. Music really end? Wow. Shortest playlist ever. ingots now so let me turn this off do you still accept no 
but you're still gonna make it and fill up here, right? Yes, okay, so we're gonna just let this go until I get enough steel so I can make the pipes by hand and then putting the stratus together is not really a big deal. I just don't wanna make the steel by hand. Okay, so I guess now it's time to do some planning here. I'm figuring everything should flow this way, right? So let's just let's just brainstorm and I want to hear you guys' opinions about this. I think I want to have the main conveyor belt a little bit to the outside here. So like right here. This is going to be our main bus. And let's say for now we're going to have one filled with copper and two filled with iron. So this is it right here. And it just comes down this entire side. And then whenever we have something for tier one right let's just lay this out and all depends on how this will line up with the what are these things called constructor right yeah constructors and also assemblers if we need them so now let's say we're gonna make the... Hmm. I think we're gonna go... Let's go copper, iron, iron. Okay, so now let's say I need to come out here with a... I need some copper for this constructor. I just placed this here. On the next constructor, I might need some iron, right? So just like that. And then we have the constructors over here and simply run them down to it. That's it. So we're gonna have this bus go all the way to the end. And then let's say the constructors are full here. Let's say the constructors are taking up this much space. And then they're gonna tie back into another bus. I don't know the spacing yet. I'm just brainstorming here. So that starts just like that. And I'm just going to use regular conveyors just for the time being here real quick. And they're going to run like this. And then we can come from the first constructor right there. Let's say that makes iron plates, right? So let's say... Um, I need to check this out real quick. Production constructor. A constructor to make iron plates. Need 30 per minute, which is a lot. And it makes 15 per minute. So I'm probably gonna have... Wow, 30 per minute. Ah, okay, that's not... Because I'm gonna come with 240, so I could uh, use 8. But let's say we start with 4 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 iron plates right and then every one of them when they come out are gonna tie into this one right here because this is iron plates one right here one right there and so on right so now i'm filling this belt with iron plates and the one above it yes they are upgradable but you need a lot of these power shots so if i i rather keep those for machines in the end that need multiple inputs to make them faster like the upgraded machine frames and all that stuff because those really take the longest to make items um, I rather just have more constructors in a row so anyway so that's the idea and then we have more constructors here where we then tie into the top belt that's gonna be iron pipes and then copper cables cable and so on right so this one in the middle here, it's going to be the most problematic. Let me show you why. Let's just say we have... Well, let's count real quick just to make sure. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. Oh, no. I just had an idea. This is going to be amazeballs. Amazing. Um, so we have one, two, I think we have five, right? Two, three, 
four, five. Yes, we have five tier one products. Plus the cement. The cement counts too because we need that for some things. So that needs to go on the main bus. So we have six of these. I just thought of something. How this is going to make it much easier. Let me move the microphone. Um, because of the curves, right? How we always have problems when something is too steep. I want to try this out real quick. All right, so let's say so that three, four, five. Oh my god, six. So that's the main bus for the components. I gotta put another one here because I want to see how this works. So let's say we have a product all the way up here. That's just the two. And I need the top product down here for some reason. What I'm thinking here, what we could do is use a splitter and put it right there. And then come down here with a lift. So how does the input and output, are they both on the same side? I don't know yet, let's just do this here. So the output needs to be here, it needs to go up, ah, there we go. And I can go, how do I know when this lines up? I think right there. And then we can come from here. Oh! This is a lift, not a... Really, is there no way to bring stuff down? Let's set this up again. It doesn't show you an input and output. Have you guys noticed that? But I feel like it, the arrows are both pointing up and down if you guys look. On the inside, it's like on the top of the screen, the HUD now. Let's try this one more time. So I can turn this. I don't want that. Ah, it snaps to this. Aha! There we go. Oh my god, it connects directly. I mean, this is cool. That's going to make it so much easier. And then we can have a constructor. Hmm, doesn't want to... Do you not line up with this? How can I make this? Yeah, let's just go with the metal. So let's say right there. Done. This is cool. <laughs> I'm nerding it up hard right now. This is sweet. I like this a lot. Oh man, this bus is gonna be cool. No, nope, not the foundation, this. I really wanna get started with this. So my question is, where are we going to produce our concrete? I have two nodes. No, I don't think it's falling. There's uh, belts on the inside, like with little shovels or something, I think. We haven't seen them move yet, so... I hope it doesn't just drop ingots down. Oh, the thing stopped. Of course, I gotta take them out. Get out of here. Okay, I don't think I... 
I, I need any more of this for now. So we're just going to go ahead and dissolve this. And then I guess we can leave this here because this is going to be used. We just take the splitters off and we'll run the rest in a minute. I think I want to figure this one out now first. Uh, let's take care of this one first. So, let's see. So we need to use a... I wonder if this connects directly. It does. Oh boy, this is high up there. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this from the top down. So I know how far I need to go. come to somewhere here oh, this is this gonna work out good let's come to this height I can't wait to see what this looks like all right and then let's line this up approximately like that go too high and then we need to come to here and then this one is gonna tie in on the bottom because the top one is gonna be for the other one well no 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 still need to come from the top into the bottom this one and how much do I have left enough so once this is done now I can hook this up bring it up here and then we have the empty platform to play with I still gotta figure out where I'm gonna put this for now okay let's see if I can make this jump again yes okay so for the time being, let's just put this here because I don't know where else to put it. Uh, da, 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 organization, storage container, I'll put you right there. Okay. Mm. This is under walls. I can never find this. Here it is. all the steel out of here and store it over there for now okay it's got to be enough if it isn't I'm gonna get a bunch of coal here they are very fast yes 240 items and you probably have more give me that come on all right so this is set up how am I gonna set this one up to go up here I gotta drive behind it hmm and I can come up to here Why can't I not place it now? Is this thing in the way? What do you mean can't afford? What? You guys see a suitcase somewhere? Wait, what? Oh, this was an MK1, wasn't it? Okay. Right, we're gonna grab some. Are you empty? No. Let's grab some concrete. Hey, 
everything I have is at a standstill. Nothing is producing anything. Because even upstairs, everything is full. I have everything filled. Uh, concrete. Uh, I don't want to take too much. And we can now check real quick if I can make the rest of the stuff. I need stratters. Or steel pipes. Wow, 300 of those, eh? Ah, so that means it's about... 200 seconds left. That's not too bad. Mm hmm. And I have enough stuff on me to make more steel if needed. Uh, why does it show 104 status? What am I short on now? Oh, wires. Okay. So that's 130 something. That's not nearly enough. Yes, I want to unlock uh, right here. Uh, wow, they changed the color. This uh, we need the space needle up one level. 150 motors and 500 frames. I have the frames ready, but I did not make the. What am I getting? Cables. <sighs> this bugs me. I really don't want to do this by hand, but um, they're right here. <laughs> Wish we would get a larger inventory. And I guess mods eventually are going to come out for this game. And then that means that, you know, things might stack higher and so on. I, I think that there is some more research, yes, um, that unlocks inventory, but... Again, I'm, I'm topped out. I only have one thing I can research right now, but I really want to get the space needle done first. And let's go ahead and start making these. Okay, they are made quite fast, so that's not bad. It would take a lot longer if I automate this right now. Um, because machines don't make stuff as fast as you do by hand. And it would be cool to be empty even my inventory and do that research. Again, for people that tuned in later, um, the stream schedule down underneath the video, uh, if you're watching on Twitch right now, um, is the new schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern and Tuesday and Thursday at 4 p.m. I want to try that schedule so two days I can have European viewers um, if you watch the streams and the other the other three I went one hour back from six to seven because a lot of West Coasters you know they're it's still only 4 p.m. for them so I would have to start at like 10 p.m. Eastern so it would be seven for them so they you know done with dinner and so on so I gotta find a compromise and again, maybe I'll push him back eventually to 8 p.m. or something. I don't know. Are you kidding me right now? Is this all I can make here? Oh my goodness. That's a bummer. Sorry guys, grab something to drink or along the lines, um, 
But we just have to sit through this for a minute. Yes, Tom, I'm East Coast. I, well, I shouldn't say East Coast. I'm in the Eastern Time Zone. I'm far from the coast. I'm in the middle of a cornfield. I'm not. I'm, I live in a big city, but... I feel like I am surrounded by cornfields most of the time. I'm in Ohio. Oh my god, there has to be a faster way. I'm gonna run out of steel too. Alright, I guess we'll need to automate this. Nothing I can do. We we'll probably need more motors in the future anyway. So let's go through here real quick. We're gonna need to make a foundry... No, no. We... Clear list. Get out of here. We need a foundry to make the steel. We need a constructor to make the... The steel... Two... Um, tubes? And then we need an assembler to make these stratters. And then we need an assembler to make the motors. Yeah, I have everything of that on me. And then the only thing is that we need to do is bring the copper cable over by hand. I think that was it, right? Yeah, the rest should be done automatically. Where are we going to set this up? I think up here in the grass. So it's out of the way. So while this is producing, we can set up our bus down here. I want to do something. Oh, thank you, Tom. I'm going to change that. Yeah, you're right. So the time that are shown after the actual day are the correct ones now. So let's disregard the... The section that says all times are in Eastern. Oh, you know what? Eh, I will do that in a minute. I was going to put down the minor MK2, but... Already halfway up here. So we can tie into the iron from here and the coal from there. So let's smack this foundry down right here. Something like this. It's fine. I don't care what it looks like. Okay, so a splitter will come from here. Let's use MK4s. Coal goes in there. We set this to steel. And then we'll put a splitter. Okay, I did tie into the bottom, so that's the one we can kick in. No, not a merger, a splitter. And you go into there. And then with this one, we are going to set up the constructor. Right there to here, you are going to make steel pipes and then we'll need an assembler uh, right there. You are going to make us statters, okay. So the steel pipes go into here. And then we're going to set up a storage container right here. This is going to be for the copper wire. And then we need another... Nope, wrong one. Assembler. And you are going to come right there and you're gonna make motors so 
So here we go, this. And another. One of you. And this is going to be for approaching others' clearance. What? Okay. Put it there, I don't care. All right. And this one holds 100, we have 74 here. So that's fine, okay. Now let's power this up real quick. Power is the nearest is over there. You come to here. You power this and this. And then right there. Okay, so now the last thing I have to do is power the miner down there. So we actually start getting this iron up here. And for right now, we're just going to use this one. And I do want to watch this here for a minute. I want to see what happens with this. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. I love it. Look how fast that is. That is so cool. Alright, before we go down, uh, actually, yes. What did I say? The bottom is copper wire. Alright, 500, and then the top one was... Yes. What was the top one? I don't remember. What do you need? Broders. Alright, cool. There we go. There's the first statter. And you need two though, right? Yes. But it's fine. So now this is going to be making us this. And then once we have it upgraded, we can tear all this down. So now we can go back over here and set up the second miner and get that iron hooked in. And then set up our main bus over here. I, I, I got to stop saying main bus. The ingot bus. Shorter than anything else, or just uh, I got the other. I just gotta pick up the one automatic miner out of that chest right there. I guess I can take everything again. Nah, still find it so interesting that this tiny box holds as much or almost as much, I think, as a big one. These are only if I want to make more jelly pads. That's the only reason I have those. It's pretty crazy that after that last episode, I said, you know what? We need a little bit more room. And now 20 something hours later. Wow. But I love it. I think that's the best, the most fun about this game that you can just rebuild without losing any materials. Okay, so... Come up to there, no. I think I'd rather come up over here. Let's see if this is gonna work. Can I still close you? No, I cannot. It's gonna bug me. 
a lot. Gotta have my corner here. Alright, can I still drive by like this? Yes, that actually works. Okay, so now from here, I have to go back up top and do that. But I think before we do this, we're gonna put a pole right here. Poke you to there. And get rid of this one. Where's this one go? Oh, that's a leftover. And now we come from here to there and then from there to there okay so now these two are powered and let's go up top again I want teleporters Huge factory floors and I put machines in the grass. Uh, what are you gonna do? Okay. Alright, that's gonna work. It just takes MK3. And come up to me. Is this gonna work? Yeah, it's will. So let's come to here. And then we'll put our connector... There we go. All right, so now two more of those are filled and then we have three more left that are from that corner right there. One, two, and three. Eventually, I'm, I'm in no hurry. I have more iron now that I'm actually using, so. Wow, the thing is backing up already, cool. All right. Check how many we have. 11 all right need lots more okay this needs to go away every time I sort my inventory you got this in the middle of your screen now let's fiddle around with this main bus ingot bus and how do we want to set up the constructors so this ingot bus needs to come in from somewhere I don't know if I want to have the bus go down this way or this way. That's the million dollar question. I don't know. Hmm. Now I'm trying to figure out how to get it in here. So I guess we can come from... We can't come in here because I got the miner. No, actually... Let's check this. It's look like it's gonna obstruct. place this too steep you're too steep um i guess we can try it from here that's fine all right so all the way so i think it will it will work we could come in from right there
which isn't bad. We might, you know, reroute this up here somehow, but we'll figure that out. So that means... Oh my goodness. Oh, I did say I want to have them on the outside. Which is fine. We can twist it coming in here. Because I'm not going to be able to use this window. There's no way. Okay, so let's start here. Which is perfectly fine. I don't want to use the all the way on the outside anyway. So I can run around and I can have doors and so on. Um... don't really want to go higher than three. How tall am I over here on the bottom? I think three. No, this is much taller. It's three and a half. So I think we need to go four because we might have some really big machines in here. There might be bigger stuff coming up. Okay. Let's put one more. This way. So that means the... I did say copper, iron, iron. Okay, so let's do this. So this is going to be the copper. This is going to be iron belt one. And I just thought of something, because this is iron belt two. And that's too steep. Okay, because I also need to run steel. I just thought about that. So how about we are gonna do it I don't know if that's gonna work let's see that's not gonna roll with me mm. okay so we might be we might have to move the beginning one over to between these two like right there So that means we would have, let's say, a steel coming to there, one iron coming to here. Am I going to be okay with this? Not really. Nope. I don't like it. It's not happening. Okay. So we're going to scrap this here. We're going to do this differently. I don't want it to be ugly at the very start. Don't know where to come in. So much space. If I come in, let's say... Come in here and then run up and over there. Snake back around. Mm. Hmm. Bummage. I come in over there it's too steep so I'm starting to feel like I don't have a choice but to come in here but then I'm wasting this space so we have to come in from here and then the fourth one on top is gonna be a regular wall and this should work I can make this come into these windows uh, but now the problem is I have Okay, so let's say this is gonna be steel. Let's say this is gonna be iron right there. I am okay with that. 
This is gonna be the other iron and then this is gonna be the copper. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm limited, so that's all I can do. Okay. Iron one, iron two, and iron three. Actually looks kind of cool. All right. And then they come down the line. Let's finish this part here at least. And then conveyors, I don't know when I'm going to do those. Wait. I forgot to steal. I'm not going down. I'm staying at the same height. I haven't been doing this enough all day. Alright, so that's it. Now the only thing is, like I said, we're going to have to figure out uh, the ratios of what we want. Because... <clears throat> now imagine, I, I don't think I can go up another story above this, right? So I'm going to have to make everything one story. Reason being is, again, copper, iron, iron, steel. Yeah. Um, reason being is, let's say we set up four for plates and four for rods, right? Um, what if I need more later? I need to be able to add more constructors. So, hmm, constructor. Let's see here. How can we squeeze you? Where's in other side? Right there. I need to figure out a ratio or a size. All right, how much room do I have in the back? I think this is good. So I can put one there and then... Oh, did they make them smaller? Oh, no, no. Yeah. They did. They... They used to be wider than one, weren't they? I'm pretty sure they were. Okay, and then two here. And I'm gonna have to get rid of these. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know what we're gonna do here yet. I'm not sure. I have no idea. So how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I can put one more, but then... I haven't used these stairs in ages. Let's just get rid of them. I can always put them over there somewhere. So I do want to have 12. I don't want to have a an odd number. Okay, so also do we have the screw? Yes, alternate screws. Just out of ingots. Perfect. I like it. Alright, let's just start from the beginning. So eight of them would fill the entire belt. Should we just do that? I mean, we are rebuilding the factory and we want to make sure that we have max amount of everything. So, iron plates, again, 30 per minute. I can feed eight on one belt. 
and then it's going to fill 120 a minute. So that doesn't even fill the MK3. It only fills an MK2 with eight. You kidding me right now? Wow. So eight of them for <laughs> Oh yeah, we're doing it. Let's just do that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna get rid of these. So that means I actually need to make sure. Right, let's just set up the other ones first. So I'm gonna leave this empty to go down there and then join the main bus. So that means the next constructors. Oh boy. Hmm. That's what I like about this game when you have to figure this stuff out. I guess we do have to look and see if that works. So would you be able to come directly down here? That's the first question. Uh, let's just see if I can get this somewhat in the middle. I think this is the middle right there. So, again, 30 per minute so I can go with this belt. I don't need that. No, it's too steep. Okay. Oh, no, I didn't need to remove that. I still need the splitter. Dummy. Am I having this right? I don't have this right. It needs to be turned to the left. It is. So why did the other one just turn different? Alright, so this splitter is correct. Stop messing with it. And we should be able to get away with a uh, conveyor lift MK1. Like that. What? Okay, so it does go. Man, that scared me. Okay, so we're getting the iron off that first belt. And I'm going to use this entire belt for these eight. So that means the belt will end this one. It doesn't need to. It, it just can keep going. That's fine. Wow. I'm not going to do the other ones until we have it completely figured out first. Please, please. Oh... So that means now from this one. We can just use. I don't need one here. I need one here. And that needs to be this way. Alright, let's see if we can get this from there into here. Yes. Okay, and then our usual middle one two into here only the first one because this is gonna be the only machine and then from here on out we're gonna use the mk3s we're not messing around not splitter i need the merger and like that yes all the way down the line Like a so. Okay, so now this bus right here needs to come around back down here. So I can fill the next constructors and the next constructors and then the bus is going to be back here. But this is a lot of wasted space over here. So I want to figure out how I can make it to possibly have the bus feed machines from back here. Wow. Wow. Hmm, okay. But let's check on our motors real quick. Wow, have I been really streaming for almost an hour and a half already? Wow, time flies by.
25. Really? Oh, I'm an idiot. I gotta bring rotors and copper cables here. Oh, man. Actually, can I make the rest by hand now? I need how many more? 51. No. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bunch of copper cables and put that in here. And then we go for another 15 minutes or so figuring out what we can do over here before the stream ends. Oh my god, so much running. I, I wish there was a faster way, but you guys can see if I would take the car every time, I would have to run to the car first and I it really doesn't save you that much time. I remember when we researched the scaffolding. How happy that made me. Alright, let's take 2,000 with these. And we'll get... Actually, do I have any left then? No. Alright, I'm gonna grab one more stack just so I have some on me. Ah, wrong way. This way. We gotta pick up some... ...of these guys. I don't know, I'm just gonna take 200. Uh, let's just make it exactly 200. I don't need rotors on me. And let's go ahead and grab some... I need 10 stacks. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay. So we can put these in the machine because otherwise I won't be able to carry everything. And for that I'm gonna take the car because that's all the way to the Space Needle. Now you know why I built everything so high off the ground. I want to make sure that I can drive pretty much everywhere with the truck if I need to. Sorry, it's a tractor. That's what it's called. It's not a truck. I don't know why it's called a tractor, but... Okay. Alright, all of these. And I'm gonna wait until I have the whole 150. And I do want to send this off today. This is happening. Drive it back down. Don't flip it. Wow, you're out of fuel again. Okay, can you stop? <laughs> Thank you. It didn't stop without fuel. Uh, vehicle. I have another 100 coal right there. It goes through the coal really fast. But coal is free. That's why I'm using it. So what can we do with the rest of the area over here? And one, two, three, four more. Oh, 
This might actually work. If I put four more here, four. I want to check how many this needs. This needs only 15 and makes 15. Oh my god. So that's going to use half the belt. Right? 80, 120, yes. So it's going to use half the belt of ingots. But if I then also do the screws, same. But this makes 90. But screws, we need a lot. A lot of screws. If you guys remember from over there. Everything needs screws. Hmm. So we use half a belt. And then on the other half of the belt, that's going to make us 360. So I got to fill two belts, each with 180. But that's only four. Then I still have a quarter of the belt left. Yes. Is four of them going to be enough? We'll add those in the end. So if I need more, I can add them. So check it out. This is what I'm thinking here. So now we just switch over here. I'm going to have to figure out how to make this different then. But it's fine. So we're going to use... And before I forget to change this. Because that is bad habit I have. Let me change this back to plates. There we go. So this is going to be rods now. And we're going to set up... Hopefully it will fit. We'll, we'll see in a second. Two... Three... And four. And then I'm hoping that I can bring this around the corner here. And then go down... Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Mm. I'll show you guys what I mean. This this might be pretty cool. Get rid of these for a second. Including you. So what if we say we leave enough room here? And this is going to be this main bus that I'm talking about. So, let's just go one height because that's all I need at this end. here and then now here this needs to be one two three four and five so right here we have the iron plates and then this is going to be the iron rods why am i having such a tough time clicking this right now Okay, so, um, yep, no, I'm, I like this. Y you'll see in one second why. I'm going to use mergers on each one of them. So we're going to have the bus just go through and we always use a merger to get stuff on there. We would have to use a merger anyway, but we're just going to put it directly on the belt instead of running from merger into merger. So here we go. So... Number nine, merger. It's about in the middle. It's really hard to judge. Right there. I'm looking to the right and to the left, so I see these little dividers. Right about there. I can barely tell. Right, and there's no... No, I cannot hold down control. Okay, so what am I short on now? Iron rods. And then over here, these are going to be on the top right there. Right, so I'm, I'm merging into this main bus. But if the ramp is too steep, we use the, the elevator one. 
And we're gonna feed it from both sides. But there's five. The cement needs to come from somewhere else. I don't think I want to make the cement in there. Let me just take this. Let's go a little bit of shopping. Ah, uh, plates. I can use a couple. Um, nope, not the symbol. I haven't used any screws yet, so I'm not taking any. Cables, I can use a few more. And then we have enough concrete. Let's go up this way. we can finish this section here for sure uh, that is one two three four five six seven and eight and then up here because we can feed this from both sides. So this is going to be... I'm, I like it, this idea. I don't want to toot my own horn, but this is a really great idea. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Alright, good. So let's see if this is too steep. And you're coming out with 15, so we can just go with the slow... Okay, so that is too steep. Which is fine. That's why we have these guys. And I wanted to come this way. Kablam. didn't get the green arrow on this one hopefully yes it does still work oh my neighbor's grilling mmm smells so good okay but these should go up there right yeah I know we could make this a little tighter, but I don't want to bump into too much stuff when we walk around. Alright, good. So there's our 8 right there. Hmm. Okay, now that works. So now we'll have... I gotta just check where these feet are. They are just on the... Okay, the front of them is with the crate. Okay. And you go this way. Line it up with this. So it's gotta be... The feet are... What did I say? Right there, right? Yes. I think that's the same. Okay, get out of here. So this is just there. Yes. Okay. So this one also is going to be rods. Did I <coughs> change the other ones? Nope. And I think you are set. Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get off the ladder. So that is for the rods and then screws. Hey. Oh, now I'm out of that stuff. Okay. But anyway, so then the next thing is one, two, three, four. It would then start here. Yes, uh, only problem is I might have to take these mergers off one more time. 
because I don't think that I can run the conveyors above it. If they didn't change that. So we'll start right there. Wow, I'm out of everything. All right. What was the other stuff I needed? Oh yeah, the reinforced stuff. Let's just take you. So this is gonna be for the screws. And then one more above that also for screws. It's gotta be two for screws. Now let's see if I can pull this across. Ah, yes, they changed it. Nice. And I think you can even stack them. Uh, let's just test it. Yep, you can even stack this. Check it out. How cool is that? I love it. Don't need it here. So... There's going to be four more here. So that means these four. I wonder if I if I can, instead of having to align this. If I can just do this. And then take out the middle one. Yes. Ha! That makes it a lot easier. So. Oh, actually... These two are going to go in there, and these two are going to go one higher. I oh, I could have left it. Let me just do this, so... So that means one more... I'll finish the rest off camera. So that's going to be the second line of screws. Now we can stack this again. Alright, which ones did I not need now? Um, let's make these front ones lower. That was my bad. 90, 180. Yes. 180. And those I might overclock. So we get more on that belt. So, 8 for iron plates. Four mergers, but from both sides, four iron rods. And then these four right here for screws right now. And what that allows me to do is have one, two, three, four more here. If on either one of them I can't keep up. So like, oh my god, I need more plates. Or I need more rods, or I need more screws. I can extend it here. And now the last thing we have to do is... Um, we ran this all the way against the back, I think. Yes. So now that means that we need to do the same here. I think I did it like this. So what was it? Copper, two iron, and steel. Just gonna run it to here. And then here we can come down the middle. That's fine. I even could put something over here for something odd. This is the last one that needs to be here. Oh, don't be sorry. Tom, it's okay. Alright, so now let's see. Obviously, these are going to run all the way over here. Is anything here going to clip? No. 
And because I'm... Eh, I'm just gonna do the top one right now just to show you. And then we'll get the rest of the motors and send the space needle to do its thing. Right, and all the way down. So now then I can feed these from that side all the way down. And then if we need more constructors or anything, it's gonna come back this way and back down. So it's just gonna snake through the entire um, factory for as far as I need to spell uh, this belt. Okay, where did I leave the car? It's right over there in the corner. Uh, I need 51. I hope that I gave it enough resources. You can really tell that they're improving this game with every update. I'm, I mean, you guys saw I had no problems placing anything. Um, the, the vertical conveyors are amazing. And now being able to stack um, splitters and mergers. Man, that's nice. Please let there be 51. Please. 50. Haha. <laughs> Give it to me. Last one. Nice. And then also I'm going to tear all this down here, of course. Maybe. We'll see if I need more motors for something. Because I'm sure that the research that we can do next is probably going to take some of these higher end materials now. It's how it's been so far in the first four tiers. Delivery will unlock tier 5 and tier 6. Which I think is oil and is that quartz? Alright, let's see this. If they changed anything here. How do I change the... Okay. That's so cool. I'm going to wait until it comes back down. I, I think I need to. Bef I don't know if I can go back to the house now. And check the research. Or what. Are you coming back down? I know you are. Move it. How, how slow are you? <laughs> it's only going into orbit. And back. There it is. Okay. Uh, fireworks or something would have been nice. Just going to stop over here for just a quick second. And get me some coal. So I can put that in the truck. Because I don't like not having a little bit of spare. I mean I can always just make some... Um, get some leaves or whatever on the go and here we go Two. okay I, why can't I not double click right now what's happening there we go alright Vehicle, It's my spare fuel. You like the red color? I had to. I wanted to have something different than gray and green, which is the dominating colors on this planet. I guess green is dominating on Earth too, right?
Most uneven factory floor ever. I'll never get over that. Okay. I'm guessing that I don't have anything that the thing wants now for the next research. Yes, tier 5. Oil processing. So we get the oil pump, oil refinery, can make plastic, fuel, rubber, circuit board, and update crude oil. Okay. And that takes another 75 motors. The frames are no problem with the other stuff, with the motors. So I'm going to leave that over there and make those. And then this one as well. So I have to make 150 of those. And we get this big truck here. Oh wow, that looks so cool. And manufacture is for three or four parts. Okay. And then tier six. Expanded power infrastructure. Oh, conveyor belt MK4. Fuel generator. Consumes fuel to generate electricity for your power grid. Ah, okay. What was the last thing in tier four? It's uh, the, the alternate recipe that we researched last time. I just haven't done that yet. So, and then jetpack. What? Give it to me. Well, 150 motors and 75 computers. Where are we learning computers? Aha, uh -huh, right there. All right, and it's again tier six gas mask. No way. Yeah, this takes the heavy ones now down here. That is cool. Monorail train technology. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, so we can see what we need to automate. Yeah, jetpack. Isn't that cool? Uh, when used and refills from fuel from your inventory when you're on the ground. Oh man. So cool. I'm guessing nothing changed with Ada. Ada? Or ma'am, sorry. Ada is the one that speaks to me. This is ma'am. Nope, nothing different here. Well, very cool. Um, we're on track. I'm in no rush in this, in this series, by the way, guys. You guys can tell. I want this to be perfect. I want to mass produce everything that I can. Um, as you can see by the conveyors that are there and not even used yet. Copper is full. That's good. So, thanks so guys so much for watching. Don't forget the new schedule. I'm not going to stream until Monday. Um, so I'm going to take a break until then so I can also focus a little bit more on getting a couple YouTube videos out. Especially on the Rails and Pipes pack and Project Ozone. I don't want to neglect those two, so I want to get back into those. Um, next stream is going to be definitely those Sky Factory 4. We have things to do there as well. Lots of stuff to do. Lots of games to play. I love it. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Catch you guys next time. Take care. Stay safe. And bye-bye.